From Queensland beaches to Miami Beach, here are the 10 places where you should not swim. With their white sand and turquoise waters, the beaches of Queensland, in the north of Australia, have something to make you dream. But beware. These heavenly beaches hide a real danger, jellyfish. It is especially between October and May that these creatures are most often found, although they can invade the waters throughout the year. However, one of the most dangerous jellyfish is the Cubo Medusa, also called box jellyfish, sea wasp, or hand of death because of the great danger it represents for mankind. This transparent jellyfish, which is therefore difficult to spot in the water, is extremely venomous. Indeed, it has a very painful sting that can even be fatal in some cases. This is why swimming in Queensland is not allowed during the season from October to May, except on the most popular beaches, where anti-medusa nets are placed by the Australian authorities. However, it is important to know what to do if you are stung by a box jellyfish. First of all, apply vinegar to the affected area to soothe the pain. Vinegar vials are available on beaches that are frequented. Then, remove the tentacles and go immediately to the hospital to have an anti-venom applied. Did you know that there are special anti-medusa suits that reduce the risk of being stung by jellyfish while swimming? A good idea, however, maximum vigilance and compliance with the instructions issued by the authorities will be all the more beneficial. In February 2004, shell collectors of Chinese origin lost their lives in Morecambe Bay, a large bay located in the northwest of England. They had been working during low tide and had been surprised by a rapidly rising tide, a natural feature that makes this bay particularly dangerous. Considered to be the largest expanse of intertidal mudflats and sand in the United Kingdom, with a total area of 310 square kilometers, Morecambe Bay opens up to the Irish Sea. It also includes seven islands as well as the estuaries of five rivers that flow into it. Well, all this can make you want to discover this very special area. Unfortunately, venturing there can be fatal. Indeed, the Bay of Morecambe is known for its violent tides that rise very quickly and its quicksand that traps everyone and everything, including vehicles. This does not prevent fishermen and collectors of shellfish and other mollusks from going there when the tide is low, risking their lives. Do you like this video? Then, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all notifications and not miss anything of our next publications. Let's keep going! Who has never dreamed of spending their vacations in a coastal city bordered by beautiful beaches? Many regions in the world attract millions of tourists every year for a dream vacation by the sea. Unfortunately, as paradisiacal as they are, not all of these beaches are safe, and many people lose their lives in the middle of a vacation. Their danger. Violence. One of the areas most known in the world for their danger despite the beauty of their beaches is none other than the Mexican city of Acapulco. This seaside resort of the Pacific coast, which attracted Hollywood in the 50s, has become nowadays a dangerous city, deserted by the foreign tourists because of the great criminality and the settlements of accounts which reign there. How to feel safe on these beaches constantly watched by the Mexican police. Here is now Gansby Beach, a beach in South Africa known for its shark-infested waters. With five deadly shark attacks recorded in four years, it is only natural to place this little piece of paradise on the list of the world's most dangerous beaches. Gansby Beach's dangerous reputation is mainly due to the white sharks. On the other hand, there is also talk about bulldog sharks, a species of sharks that are usually more than 2 meters long and can reach up to 3.5 meters in length. Surfing, swimming, or even diving on this beach is therefore never without risk. Now back to Queensland, Australia. This time, let's go to Fraser Island, the largest sand island in the world. This island, which is located off the east coast of Queensland, is 123 kilometers long and covers an area of 1,840 square kilometers. It is best known for the wild and aggressive wildlife it shelters. Indeed, one finds there deadly jellyfish, sharks, marine crocodiles as well as protected animal species such as the dingo. This species of wild dog emblematic of Australia is especially known for its dangerous attacks which can sometimes be deadly. Fraser Island has been classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1992. According to some sources, every year it attracts hundreds of thousands of adventurers who come, aboard 4x4s, to discover the wild beauty of this part of the world and observe whales, dolphins, sharks, and turtles from the cliffs. Nevertheless, swimming is forbidden by the authorities, not only because of the deadly jellyfish and sharks that approach the shore but also because of the strong currents and dangerous waves. 
So, you get it. The adventure on Fraser Island requires extreme caution as well as respect for the safety instructions indicated on the signs. Before continuing, let's pause with the question of the day, where is Glass Beach, the beach known for its millions of colorful pieces of glass? Option A. Australia. Option B. The Bahamas. Option C. California. Think carefully, choose the option you think is correct, and stay with us until the end of this video to see if you answered correctly. Your choice is made, come on, let's go on. If one day you feel like spending your vacation in Brazil and visiting Recife for a waterfront vacation, remember one thing, Recife's beaches are among the most dangerous in the world. The cause? Shark attacks. Although they are among the most beautiful beaches in Brazil, Recife's beaches are unfortunately not safe and their rate of shark attacks is one of the highest in the world. Indeed, shark attacks on these beaches have claimed many victims, and the testimonies of some people who were lucky enough to survive the bites of these sea monsters will give you goosebumps. The figures put forward by some sources will give you an idea of the danger of these beaches, since there are 56 shark attacks, including 21 fatal ones, between 1992 and 2012. However, these attacks were non-existent before this period. What happened then? Well, it is estimated that the presence of sharks began to be noticed in this area following the destruction of their habitat, probably due to the construction of a new port. So that's what forced these monsters to move to the beaches of Recife. And this is why one should never venture into the water in this Brazilian city. Let's now leave Brazil and fly to Asia, to the city of Mumbai, India. This coastal city also has many beaches, however, swimming is strongly discouraged. One of these beaches, Chowpati Beach, is even considered one of the most dangerous in the world. However, it is neither shark attacks nor the presence of wild animals that make it dangerous, but pollution. Indeed, this beach is one of the most polluted in the world since it is home to several tens of thousands of tons of waste. 60,000 tons if we believe certain sources. To top it all off, a cargo ship ran aground on this beach a few years ago, making the situation even worse. Can you imagine that? This beach is a real garbage dump that is full of microorganisms that are very dangerous for your health. Swimming in wild waters, surrounded by breathtaking landscapes, is the dream of many nature lovers. And one of the most popular places in the world for ecotourism enthusiasts is of course the Amazon Basin. This region of South America, which includes Brazil and many other countries, is crossed by the Amazon River and its many rivers. One can easily imagine the beauty of the wild aquatic landscapes that characterize the Amazon Basin. But the most adventurous would rather take a dip in these waters which are nevertheless populated by an incredible wildlife. No need to remind you that the Amazon River is home to many animal species that are dangerous to humans, such as the piranhas, these carnivorous fish with sharp teeth, or the candiru, a small parasitic fish that can penetrate your body through any orifice. While swimming in the Amazon basin, swimmers are also not safe from the risk of electrocution because of the electric eels that populate the waters of the basin. Another specimen to be wary of is the Oscillate River Stingray. Also, keep in mind the presence of the long anacondas and the black caiman. So, are you still tempted by a swim in the Amazon basin? Let's now go back to Mexico, but this time to the Playa Cipolite. This magnificent beach located on the Pacific coast is considered one of the most dangerous beaches on the planet. Do you want to know why? Well, it's because of its powerful currents, which have caused the drowning of several people, hence its dark nickname of La Playa de los Muertos, or the Beach of the Dead. However, to ensure the safety of the swimmers, flags are planted in the white sand to indicate the risk areas where swimming is not allowed. But, a little advice, do not swim on this beach. For those lucky enough to spend their vacation in Florida, Miami Beach is one of the places not to be missed. Indeed, this peninsula located near the city of Miami, in the south of Florida, is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. On the other hand, swimming in the ocean can sometimes be dangerous, at least, for swimmers who are not experienced. However, here are some safety tips to follow if you feel the urge to take a swim. First of all, don't venture into areas where there are no lifeguards. Many people have been rescued from drowning by lifeguards, so it's important to swim only in supervised swimming areas. Sometimes, wearing a life jacket is also necessary. Also, a glance at the color of the flag planted on the beach will give you an idea of the state of the ocean and the strength of the waves and currents. Moreover, to avoid strong currents, especially back currents, it is always better to stay away from areas where these currents are frequent. 
But if you are otherwise caught in one of these water movements, try swimming perpendicularly or simply float and call for help by waving your arms towards the lifeguards. Most importantly, stay calm. Also, avoid swimming in rough water or when a storm or thunderstorm is coming. Although sharks are not very common in Miami, beware of other marine animals, especially jellyfish that sting and crabs that pinch. And beware of sunburn. Sun protection is essential in this place where the sun can easily burn you, even if you don't tend to tan easily. And then, there's no harm in warning you about possible attacks or thefts that may occur, especially at night. So, it's best not to venture out on the beaches of Miami Beach after dark. By following all these valuable tips, you can be sure to have a safe and unforgettable vacation. These were the most dangerous beaches in the world. Tell me, have you ever been to one of these beaches? Do you know of any other dangerous beaches other than the ones we've mentioned today? Leave us your answers in the comments. And finally, here's the answer to the question of the day. Glass Beach is in Fort Bragg, California. The presence of millions of pieces of glass of all sizes and colors is due to the garbage that was once dumped in this former public landfill. Strange, isn't it?